we know how to find the matrix exponential function for a Jordan canonical form. Let us now go through all the steps to see how this works in practice and to identify possible bottlenecks and problematic forms. So, oh, sorry, can the app opnieuw? I yes. zat al hier naar te kijken in plaats van. Uh, <laughs> en dat is ook. Okay. En jullie gooien alle, alle shit weg, hè? Nee. <laughs> Okay, set We know how to find the matrix exponential function for a Jordan canonical form. Let us now go through all the steps to see how this works in practice and to identify possible bottlenecks and problematic points. So we have the following example. Here we have a matrix A, and the question is compute e to the power a t. Now we will do all the steps. So first we compute eigenvalues. So the characteristic polynomial, minus 9 minus lambda times 15 minus lambda, minus, and then what's on the de uh, off diagonal, uh, 9 times minus 16, so plus 144. Work out the brackets, you get lambda squared minus 6 lambda plus 9. Setting p lambda to 0, we get lambda minus 3 squared equals 0. So we have one eigenvalue, lambda equals 3, plus algebra multiplicity 2. That's the first step. Second step, eigenvectors are generalized eigenvectors. First, we take a look at a minus lambda i. We have this matrix over here. Uh, you can divide the uh, a first uh, row by 3 and the second row by 4. Then you see that you get the same rows. So you can uh, get rid of the second row. And if you solve a minus lambda i times x equals 0, uh, we see we get x equals some constant times 3 over 4, 1. So e lambda is the span of v, where v is, well, take c, c2 equals 4 to get rid of the fractions, so v equals 3, 4. So we see that the dimension of e lambda is 1, so the geometric multiplicity is only 1. So we need one more generalized eigenvector. Well, we know how to do that. Uh, we have a cycle consisting of two factors, so we choose v1 as v as our uh, eigenvector, and for uh, v2 we have to solve a minus lambda i times x equals v. So again we have our a minus lambda i, and we put our v now here. We can do of course the same step, divide first row by 3, and second row by 4, and this. Uh, you can get rid of the uh, second row. No, we end up over here. Then we can solve this system. C2 is 3 and then minus 4 times C1 plus 3 times C2 equals 1. So we can solve for C1. So there we go. So there we have our solution. X equals uh, C1 over here minus 1 quarter plus 3 over 4 C2 and uh, the second component is just C2 which gives us a particular solution minus 1 over 4 0 plus a homogeneous solution and the homogeneous solution of course corresponds to the uh, eigen, uh, eigenvector we have already found in the second step. Then we can choose as our v2 the particular solution. So there we go. We have our v2. And now we can form our p consisting of v1 and v2. So there we are. So now we have done most of the hard work. So now we know that a is similar to v times gcf times p inverse, where the Jordan canonical form is given by the threes on the diagonal and the one uh, on top because we have a cycle of size 2. And we can easily compute gcf minus lambda i, gives us 0, 1, 0, 0. And now it's uh, not so difficult to compute the matrix exponential of this, this matrix here, because uh, if you compute the square of it, you already get 0. So the e to the power uh, gcf minus lambda i times t is just the, the first two terms i plus uh, and the, the matrix times t over here, which we have over there. And then the e to the power gcf times t is e to the power gcf minus lambda i times t times e to the power lambda i times t, which gives, just gives us a factor e to the power 3t everywhere. That's what we have over here. And then, because uh, A is similar to GCF, e to the power AT equals P times this matrix times P inverse. 
So what's the hard work? The hard work uh, is usually steps one to four. If you have your A similar to a GCF is your P and your GCF and your P inverse, then e to the power A, which is e to, uh, e to the power JCF minus lambda, that's usually easy, times e to the power lambda T, that's also easy because it's a diagonal matrix, then puts P's and P's inverse uh, around this. So hard work uh, is in the first, first steps, and after the hard work, fortunately, we can compute relatively easy the uh, matrix exponential.